So I think most of us have election hangover today, but uh, some of us are dealing with it better than others. I'm Hyla in Hollywood for the Daily Buzz on CelebBuzz.com. Ooh, boy, the celebrities were fired up on social media last night. And joining me in studio right now is senior editor of In Touch Weekly and a former spokesperson for New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani. Kim Serafin is hanging out with me today. Let me tell you something. Thank God for social media. It makes watching elections and debates that much more fun, does it not? Absolutely, because yes, you're watching on TV, but you want to find out all the comments. The things that you're thinking yeah. in your head, you get to go online and see what everyone else is saying. And it's kind of what you're thinking, yeah. too. So not, not all the time. Not, it's, not it's if you're a, reading Right, well, Twitter it's now. a real-time conversation that I think <laughs> is really fun. I know I was at a party last night. There was about eight of us, and everybody was buried in their phones, sharing tweets with each other. It was a lot of fun. Let's talk about some of uh, these celebrity tweets. Actually, not just tweets, but all of social media. Beyonce, for example, she was all over her Tumblr last night. She was posting a bunch of photos. Of course, you remember this from the fundraiser yes. uh, a few weeks back. She also posted a picture of uh, her singing. Oh no, this one is the earring, earrings, this Obama yes, earring. Yes. Well, it makes sense. She had She's on. been a longtime supporter. Of course, Jay Z, yeah. a huge supporter. He went on the campaign trail with the president. So, this was, I think, a huge thing. So much of Hollywood got involved. So much of Hollywood was really invested, like they were four years right. ago, certainly. But, I, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, do celebrities really put you over the top? I don't know. When you saw those rallies with Bruce Springsteen just rallying the crowd, yeah. I have to say that that's got to help. It does help. No, for sure, it does help. And I like the fact that I, I like the tweets that are fun because it gets yeah. so nasty on social yes. media sometimes yes. you look at your friends back home and you're like relax yeah. buddy <laughs> just chill out even though i did like uh beyonce's uh picture of a napkin that said take that mitches that's true a little but play also jay-z of course but, took right. his song where i you know i can't pronounce the word but he used mitt in place yes. of the word that everyone knows what i'm talking about yes. ain't one okay uh diana agron uh she wrote congratulations mr president our president and then it's the act actress Olivia Wilde. She tweeted, in America, you have spoken. Women, you have been heard. Young people, you proved them wrong. wrong. Tireless Obama volunteers, I thank you. And then singer Rob Thomas got in. And again, it's all positive. Love Everyone that. just Love keep that. hateful comments to yourself. If Rami had won, I would have congratulated him as well and still said we need to move on. He also added, it's 3 a.m. and I think <laughs> I'm lonely. Which is great. It's nice to hear those kind of positive he didn't really actually say that. No. So. <laughs> those are for my Matchbox 20 fans. I threw that in there. Okay. Oh, but now. those are very positive comments, yes. despite the little thing that you added. Yes. Uh, but yes, it's nice to see somebody saying, let's pull together as a country. The election's over. Now let's move on. There were a lot of hateful comments, though, of course, oh, on Twitter. Let's well. bring up your boy, Donald boy. Trump. I think well, maybe wait, he wait, was... Wait, 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 let's just <laughs> clarify that. I don't know. I have nothing to do with Donald Trump. <laughs> nothing so to do. Just, okay. But I, I think he might have been drinking from the same cup that Diane Sawyer was drinking last night because he went on a rampage on Twitter. Uh, one of his first tweets, let's fight like hell and stop this great and disgusting injustice. The world is laughing at us. And then another one, the Electoral College is a disaster for democracy. And then he also wrote, House of Representatives shouldn't give anything to Obama unless he terminates Obamacare. <laughs> Yeah, he also called what? for a march on Washington. And also, he was wrong about the Electoral College. You know, of course, he was saying that when it looked like that maybe Mitt Romney won the popular vote, that Obama won the Electoral College. Sure. I mean, he was just out of control. But we've seen this. I don't know. You said at the beginning, maybe he jumped the shark. I don't think he jumped the shark at all. He jumped the shark when he offered $5 million for, uh, for Obama to show his yeah. birth certificate and he would give it to charity. I mean, this has been kind of a long time thing with Donald. And I don't even think when it did get attention initially, I don't think people really are paying attention. How about Brian Williams, anymore. the NBC News anchor, who always stays neutral, right? There, right there's right, no way right. you could tell how he votes. He went in on the Donald last night and said, you sound ridiculous. Right. Thumbs up to Brilliams. I really appreciate him yeah. calling out the down. That <laughs> well, was yeah, silly. because this is a time the country should be pulling together, right, exactly. not putting out tweets like that to make people even more angry. I mean, it was just it was just a little inappropriate on a night where people were celebrating. Even if you were upset, even if you listened to Mitt Romney's concession speech, right. he was not angry like that. No. He called for the country right. coming together. Exactly. So Donald Trump should have taken his lead. Donald, for sure. stick to selling steaks, buddy. All right, <laughs> Kim Serafin, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are. Use the hashtag. The Daily Buzz. And for the biggest stories breaking in Hollywood right now, head on over to CelebBuzz.com.